I'm Deborah Barnes and I'm the owner of Wellington's Marketplace here at 124 North Main Street in Concord, New Hampshire. Wellington's comes from uh, my side of the family. Uh, it was my grandfather's middle name. His full name was George Wellington Richards and we thought it was a great way to pay tribute to that family. We are a specialty food, fine wine and cheese store. Uh, along with that we have lunch items, catering, cheese platters, uh, and prepared foods. Uh, we're uh, in the midst of creating and making larger selections with our cheese and our wine. We're trying to create a store where everybody can come in and find something that they need or want. We try to find items that aren't necessarily available um, locally, including our wines. Um, a lot of them are they're available at a liquor store, but usually it's a liquor store that's 30, 40, 50 miles from here. Um, and our cheeses, our cheeses are wonderful. Uh, we're up to 40 different kinds. We started out with 15, and it's just, it's been such great response with everybody that comes in. We're able to give them uh, personal customer service, and it's, it's being very well received. I have probably three favorite cheeses. The Humboldt Fog, it's an aged goat cheese, and it has an ash line that runs through the middle of it. Uh, we have a Camazola Black Label Brie, which is a brie cheese, very, very creamy, with um, blue vein running through it. So for those of you who don't necessarily like a strong blue cheese or haven't tried it before, that's the perfect cheese to have. And I think my last one would be our aged Gouda, which is a three to four year aged Gouda. A lot of people will come in and say, I'm going to somebody's house, they're serving, serving a steak tonight, what, what would you suggest for a wine? Um, and uh, you know we'll go over to the rack and I'll probably have three different choices for them as well as a cheese. The sandwich offerings are they're pretty cool. We've, we've tried to create a really unique menu. We've taken what we think to be good home basic ingredients and kicked them up about four notches. We have our Italian, we have the uh, Korean burrito which has been a great success. Uh, it's something really unique to Concord. Um, everything that we make is from scratch. Everything is made in-house. So we're, uh, we're really proud of that. We, even our cold salads, our chicken salads, tuna fish, it's white albacore tuna. Um, we put a little lemon zest in it and it just, everything's been a great hit. That's the Korean pork burrito. Uh, what's what's kind of great about this is that it has uh, like four levels of flavor. You have a hot sriracha sauce, you have a little acid from the lime juice, you have a crunch and a little bit of bitter from the cabbage and then the pork. The pork is a, a pork tenderloin that's marinated for at least 48 hours. We slice it thin, it's put in a house marinade, secret recipe, and then it's um, flash fried for probably two or three minutes to cook through. The, some of the ingredients that are in the marinade will start to caramelize so that's where you get your sweet from. So when you bite into it, you get all those layers of flavor and a real warmed up, fabulous tortilla. It's light, but it's filling. It's, it's, it's just a beautiful sandwich. Well, we're in our fourth week of wine tastings. Um, so far, they've gone really well. Uh, we're trying to get more and more people to come in. We're also offering um, some samples of some of our products. We're trying out some new products so the people who show up get to be the first to, to try those. We usually sample two to three wines, but if somebody was looking at, at our selection and really wanted to buy something but really wanted to taste it first, we'll absolutely open up the bottle. Being across the street from the Capitol, I just don't think you could get any better than that. Just being able to talk to the customers about food, that's my passion. It's, it, to see them get excited, is, it's pretty rewarding.